How you doing everyone? Welcome back to Chicken Block. This is episode 16 and today we are going to be working on the basement. Now, for those with a keen eye, the last episode I was going to uh, decorate the house in between episodes. I haven't actually got around to it. I haven't actually played the map since. I've kind of taken a break for a few days. Uh, but at the time of this recording, um, yeah, I haven't done nothing. So, yeah. Smack on the wrist dibs. Slacking. Right, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on our uh, basement. I need to get the basement at least kind of something for us to work on and around. So I've got an idea in my head. So I'm going to just roll with it for now and then like tweak it later. Now, you guys didn't see this, but I made way too much resources to make this house. As, as you can see, I've got like loads left, right? So what I might do is cook these up quick because just the remainder of that and I tell you what we can do very fast if I can find it where are you there we go what we can do is we can probably hopefully hop up here yes get rid of these this top box these top boxes for now right and then just slam these cobblestone generators tier threes up there so they keep put in items in ready to cook obviously they're not cooking just yet but if we just go let's just put a couple of stacks in each like so just to get it started and fired up let's just take these guys out real quick that will continue to make resources for us and cook them because I didn't really use much fuel last episode when I was doing the house so I got all this fuel I might as well use it now, today, yeah, like I say, we are working on the basement area. And I'm not really going to call it a basement. I don't, e I don't even think that's the right word for it. Hello, chickens. Um, because uh, in my head, I might mimic this, this platform here, but just make it further down. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to go with that and then kind of just have like a basement which kind of mimics the shape of like this area these three circles and maybe go back that way um, and the reason being is um, so that we can have under the underground I don't know it just kind of goes in in line it's uniform it looks it doesn't look out of place it hopefully won't look out of place but it's gonna kind of be like not a lab or an un it's, it's not gonna be like a science lab or a laboratory or anything like that or something like that but it, it I wouldn't call it a lab but it's kind of going down the, that path right so what I want to use it for is I want to put automated farms and stuff in it right so we can have sugarcane farms you know all that jazz and also I want to put the nether portal down there because I don't really know where to put the nether portal I mean there is a there is a million and like ten ways that we can do this but um, yeah, we need a basement because we need storage, right? So definitely going to be a thing. And I'm going to go all out with this. So I'm thinking here, I've made a hole. And that goes down into the abyss. And by the way, last episode I forgot to show you up here. There's like a little place I can put chests. Will you not work? Okay, that doesn't work now. That should work. I need to get up on the roof and, and check that out. Oh, well, they're going to despawn. I've got, like, loads of wood. Right, so... Yeah, basement time. So, I feel like this is, like, a, a dangerous stepping stone that I need to take. So, that's why I'm hitting the record button. So, it's nothing fancy. There's no fancy uh, episode coming on today. It's just literally me um, risking my life. So, I need to go and get some water. Real fast. If I can find the infinite water source. There we go. We just grab two. Oh wow, it popped off because I took away the source for a second. Nice. Okay, there we go. Don't really need that, but there you go. I've got loads of junk on me. Really like really bad. So apologies, I've kind of not done anything to the house situation. I kind of just want to get the basement done because I want to get the nether portal done. And there's a reason I'm doing this, guys. The reason I'm going down this path, the reason why I'm trying to record right now, um, instead of just kind of grinding it some more, is because I've been reading your comments. 
right? I've been reading your comments about the whole spawning situation. Now, this has been a real kind of hot topic since I've asked you guys the questions about spawning spawners in. Some of you are saying spawners fine, some of you are just saying chickens fine, and some of you are saying you don't really need it. And there's been one or two decent suggestions combined that I'm going to probably use. So this is the plan, right? We're not going to knock this down, and that's not going to become um, like a subscriber tower thing. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to reactivate that. And the only way we're going to reactivate that is by getting rid of chickens. However, um, we're not going to get rid of these huts. We're going to keep the minimal chickens in here. So we're going to literally, because we've got a real good supply now, right? We got, I mean, look at that supply, right? We've got loads and loads and loads of everything. So we're not going to run out anytime soon. So by keeping two of them in each pen, we'll lower the mob cap, okay? Because at the moment we are hitting mob caps. Now, Mr. P in the comments section said, why don't you move them into the nether? And at first I thought, nah, I can't do that because these these huts become useless. But they don't have to be. We can keep these guys on hand. We just won't keep as many. We will keep the bare minimum in. So we'll keep two in each pen. So that's what, 18 chickens? And then what we will do is we will move any other chickens into the nether. Right? This was a really good point. And at first I was like, no, I, I like the idea, but then I thought, no, then I'm, my huts are going to be useless. But they're not. We're going to put literally two in, we're going to keep two in each um, pen. Right, we're going to keep two chickens in each pen, which should make that work to some degree. Now I've tested this and it seems to work. Okay, I've tested this in quickly in creative. I've opened up the nether portal, spawned a load of chickens in, killed these ones off in a creative world. And yeah, we were getting spawns to the point where not all of this is lit up. We get spawns randomly on the actual island. So yeah, we need to light this place up a little bit better because we're going to get some random spawns. Even I've noticed in the creative world uh, when I was testing this, uh, just to make sure I don't build it for nothing. Um, it was actually spawning random chickens kicking around. So we might still get our bone chickens. So my dile my dilemma as well. Let me just start building as well. My dilemma as well was that uh, if we do spawners, it's cheaty. But we can get all the things. We can get potatoes. We can get all that stuff. Someone said in the comments, but do you really need potatoes dibs? And I'm like... No, not really, but um, I want all the things. Do you know what I mean? When you play Minecraft, you just want all the things. <laughs> um, so, but I've kind of pushed that aside. So, chainmail armor and all the enchantments we don't really need. We can we can get that in other ways. That's fine. We can make a tank below ground. This is why I want to make a really big basement. And if I don't get to it soon, you guys are going to get really bored. You probably are already bored, but never mind. Right, okay. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a stream there and let that run down. Okay? And then we're going to grab a load of building blocks and start making our um, circle. We're going to mimic the circle. So these will go straight down as if they're like on a big, big floating, like, structure like concrete st structure I, I don't know right so so yeah um i've kind of i've kind of sort of like thinking do you know what yeah you're right we don't need all the enchanting stuff because we're going to get a load of junk bows anyway uh you're right i'm wrong you're the best i'm the worst you lot are good looking i'm not so attractive <laughs> Um, <laughs> but you get the idea. So, um, so yeah, we're going to activate that and we need to get the chickens into the nether. And I don't want a nether portal up here. I want it below base. And a sure thing is to mimic this and make it br bring it down a little bit. So this is on one big giant round pillar. 
right? Same goes for that one. We're gonna make a little tunnel and then we're gonna make a big giant pillar and it's gonna be all the same level. It's not gonna be raised, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna just gonna get the base, the foundations going in this episode. And this is, this is why I wanna record it because this has never been done in this Let's Play before. And this is always a KG part of the, the thing, right? So what's the floor level? 68? 68. So we want to go down what? At least 10 blocks. So we want to go down to what? 58? I hate this bit. And that's the wall, right? That's the wall side. Let's make sure that we can get out so we get some air. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's quickly put the platform there. Nah, 57, that's fine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to swim back up to the top. Get rid of that water source block. That wasn't so bad, I could have done that off camera now. But I want to bring you guys and show you guys what the plans are and what I could be doing off camera. So we're going to need some ladders, which fortunately I built a load before when I was getting the resources for the house. He says. Where are they? I, I built, I crafted, I crafted a load. Maybe I didn't. Okay, let's just craft some now then. Three's not going to cut it. 15 will cut it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna just go to jump down onto that block, right? Uh, we do need some torches because uh, Once the mobs start spawning we we're in trouble So what I need to do this episode is quickly create the platform and maybe next episode. I'm going to try and I Don't know get a load of chickens Sorted I don't know how this is going to pan out, to be honest. This is, I've not done this, and yeah. So, um, what was that I come in for? Torches. Have we got any wood kicking around in here? We do. Tell you what, let's swap. And then we're going to grab some... No, oh, I clicked the wrong one. Let's try that again. There's loads of things I need to do, guys. I haven't done the bridge. I haven't done this. I haven't done that. I think maybe I'm a little bit too premature to record episode 16, but I really kind of want to show you guys um, what's what's going down. What am I what am I crafting again? Torches. See, guys, my memory's really rubbish. I think it's because I'm getting old. Right, and then we're going to literally light up everything. Bam. And that is where our bottom is going to be. Just put that there for now. And then this is the center point, right? So we need to go, what, 14 in each direction because this is a 29 by 29 circle underneath here. So we want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And that should be in line. Indeed, it is. That is in line with that. So that's good. That's a good. That's a good news, right? Then we need to go in each direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the camera quick and uh, just kind of make a big circle, I guess. Okay. So that is the outer circle done. What I'm going to do to help prevent spawns is for now I'm going to make sure that the whole entire base has like lower slabs maybe like uh, it's got to go down lower one more so yeah if we have lower slabs nothing's gonna spawn here 
uh, for now. Um, and then we can kind of plan it out after that. So I'm going to grab some slabs, fill this in, and I'll be our bees. So since the last cut, um, the last clip, I've been really busy. So what the plan is, this is the plan. Let's look down. We are going to mimic the upper portion here. And we're going to bring the walls up so that it's all confined underground, like under the, under the house. So it doesn't look like another floaty platform <coughs> excuse me so we're gonna bring the walls up um, but as you can see I've literally mimicked the, the the round bits here I haven't been done anything that side and the reason for this is for one it look it will look tidy right I just need to find a decent design because as you can see it's all just stone brick and that's a bit boring right we need to mix it up kind of like the acacia paths with that at least put two colors in there right so we need to I need to kind of just work out what I want to do let's go down and get a closer look so this bottom area is going to be closed off we're going to literally bring it all the way up there um, to the ceiling at the bottom of that one and maybe put a lower like some slabs at the at the bottom just to get rid of the look of the dirt. We don't want to have a dirt ceiling, right? So yeah, that's that's gonna go. Um, like I say, it's gonna be two colors. I might even put, for the floor, I'm thinking of glass, like in the middle, like just the middle strips or the middle portions of the base where there's no farms and stuff. I, I just wanna kinda have some sort of glass like floor because it'd be cool just to see nothing below you and just freak you out all the time, right? So I think that's a good a good shout. I need to kind of just kind of work with it and come up with something off camera. Um, I've got a lot of things to do off camera. I've noticed but while I'm down here, I've noticed that when I've been placing the stairs on the up, like on the outer edge, they've not connected properly. Um, so I need to change that at some point. But I'm I'm planning to change the oak anyway because I don't really want the oak stairs. I want probably I'm probably gonna have stone again I, I don't know yet we'll see I'll decorate it somehow I, I will sort it out don't worry but I will give you progress reports the best I can off camera but um, I think if I'm gonna do any other episodes in between now and when I do stuff here I think if I was to do an episode anytime soon it will be me moving chickens, but I need to build the portal first at least. So yeah, I need to do some off camera stuff before episode 17 can be recorded. So maybe, yeah, maybe before all the walls go up, um, maybe I'll get the portal sorted and get the chickens into place, ready to rock in the nether. Cause the nether is a really good idea. So yeah, all your ideas have been really good guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, you've been fantastic with supporting me with that big dilemma that I had. It almost broke the game for me. It almost like, ah, oh, there's a way around it, but it involves me cheating. But however, right, recap on this idea, right? Okay, before I go. So the idea is we're not going to cheat, okay? Long story short, we're not going to cheat, okay? I said to you guys, I, I really don't want to cheat. If I can avoid it, I will, and we will. A couple of you made a really good few points. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in the video, but um, a couple of you said, you know, um, you don't really need all of the enchanted bows and stuff because half of it's junk anyway um, and all that, which is true. We don't need that for spawners, but we're going to get them anyway. We're going to get all that loot because we are going to activate that by killing these guys. Uh, not killing them, sorry. Moving. I'm going to put boats in there. Let's let's quickly see if it works, and we're gonna go to the we're gonna put them into the Nether, right? And what I'm gonna do in the Nether once again, I know I'm 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 playing the same tunes and building the same things, but in the Nether, I'm going to mimic this, right? I'm gonna make it so that when you come out of the Nether, the portal from the in the Nether, Nether, right? So when you're in the Nether, you come out of the portal and you're greeted by the same thing so it's like you're not mo you haven't really moved do you know what i mean you're not gone from the overworld to the nether and vice versa it's going to be enclosed it's going to be as if you're <laughs> as if you're in the overworld but you're not 
you can probably still hear gasps and stuff. I don't know if you can, you, you get what I mean, but I'm going to make that in the nether and that and all these circles. And I'm going to work it out so that I can put the huts in there. And yeah, I, I've got ideas and I, I just I need to roll with it a little bit. But for now, it, yeah, that's roughly the idea. So all these guys are going to be moved apart from two, which I've tested, like I said, and it works. I'm happy with that. But I, uh, like I say, I appreciate all of your support so far. All of your support has been fantastic. And it's helped me helped me like find my way in regards to whether or not we cheat and if we don't cheat then which we won't be cheating just just as a you know just letting you know again i am rambling i feel like i'm rambling now but hey right i need to test something on camera first we do this on camera very fast uh how do i get out can i Please. What about if I do this? If I do, hmm, It'll be like that, right? There we go. We need to get that boat in there, and then they will stick. No, 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 <laughs> no. Oh, we could just push it, right? There we go. Just push it. I forgot about that. There we go. Two chickens are in there now. So that's that done. So that's going to work, right? And then the question is, can we get the rest of them in? And do they take full damage? This is the last test I want to do before I wrap up for today. Where's all my uh, chicken pens? Got a chicken pen there. I got some somewhere. Right, so what we want to do is we want to see if we can get the remainder in there. So we want to get eight in there at least, right? Actually, we could do all of them. We could just do like one pen at a time. Oh, there we go. That's how we roll. Right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab some seeds. My my other question is, does... Do they, do they receive full damage? I mean, in a boat, you don't, right? When you fall in a boat, you don't receive damage. You don't get full damage in a boat, I think. Seeds. We need to encourage all of them. I might get another, another one of those pens. I think it's up here. Here's me thinking I was going to end the episode, but I, I'm curious now. And I might get this this episode out for Friday. I was going to call it quits at 15 this week, but meh. Okay. So if I get seeds now, I should encourage some to go in the pens. There we go. Come on. You know you want to. I know I'm trashing the place, but this this should work if they can see me. Come on, you know you want to. Is there no room in that one then? Okay, what about if we put you in there? There's got to be room in there, right? Yeah. There we go. That's that's done. That is done. I'm happy with that. Please don't merge. <gasps> okay, that's a little bit tricky. I'm not going to lie. Right, we can break this one now. Right, we need to keep two in there. This ain't going to work, is it? Is it going to work? I don't want them to merge. They will merge. Can we get out of here? I'm going to have to break these. There we go. Right, I'm going... This is for science, and I'm not sure if this is going to work. But... In theory, it should. 
right? In theory, it should. Let's just get rid of a bigger hole here. <laughs> if they take wall damage, we've lost eight chickens. But they're, we've got loads of lapis, so it's not really a big deal. If they don't take full damage, we are set, guys. I don't know, even know if I can push him properly on that because it's lower slabs, right? Right, here we go. Deep breath. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We we done it. They do not take full damage. They do not take full damage. I'll cover that up later. Can we push them? Oh, baby. We can push them. We can push them ready to go into the nether. How cool is that? That is brilliant. That's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to transport them. They're like little transport crates. <laughs> yes. I'm going. I'm going to go, guys. Appreciate all your support, like I said before. Um, but yeah, this is this episode is dragging on a little bit. But yeah, um, at least now we know. And I can transport the, the chickens like one by one, like one little chicken pen at a time. That is really good news. I, I thought maybe it's if it's a boat, a retextured boat, then they won't take full damage. So now we've got two in the original chicken pen. So we, then we can hopefully nerd pull out. And then, oh, this is working out fine and dandy. But yeah, appreciate all your support, guys. But like I say, very quickly, we are not going to spawn any spawners in. We're going to use the mob grinder. Um, and we're going to use the nether trick. So, yeah. I do appreciate all of your ideas and support, even if they, if, even if I'm not using them. I, I'd rather have more ideas than none. So... Thank you um, for all your support. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode, guys, um, which will probably be next week now because this is a, like a, a bonus episode that's going out probably Friday or today, which will be Friday. Okay. And if you're watching this in the future, it could be any day, any time. Right. Take it easy, guys. See you in the next one.